Welcome to your first reflective yoga practice of Boho Beautiful Ascension. Join me seated in your mat in whichever way feels the most comfortable to you. And let's take a quick moment to settle in. We'll begin with our first conscious breath together for this week. Take a deep inhale, filling up your lungs as you reach up towards the sky, holding your lungs at full capacity just for a brief moment at the top, and then slowly and steadily exhale all the air from your lungs and lower your hands down to your heart. But once all the air has released, consciously hold your lungs empty and release your hands to place them upon your heart. This is called your exhaled breath retention and we're going to use this technique in every class. Key is at any moment your body requests, release your breath retention and come back to your natural breathing. But if you can, I invite you to hold your lungs empty as long as possible and sit in this newfound, beautiful and rare state of empty, blissful stasis. Feel the stillness of this moment inside and all around you. Feel the absence of breathing in your body. What new sensations does this open up to your awareness? And take note, whether you've come back to your breath or you're still in a retentive state, that you are mindfully feeling your heartbeat for the very first time upon this journey. It's right there, inside you always, the rhythm of your consciousness, the driver of your life force, right now and in every moment, beating. Today is the beginning, and soon we will begin. As spoken in today's earlier classes, all things that grow need a strong foundation, roots to help stabilize, because the stronger the foundation and roots have taken hold, the more the stage is set to grow higher and expand further and further upwards. And as we learn, today's chakra is the root chakra, found at the base of our spines. It holds the space for all the other chakras to stand upward in line the foundation of our entire energetic system. It is our root, and it connects us directly to its core symbiotic element, the earth element. We all came from the earth, and one day we will all return back to it. We rise from the earth each morning, and when we sit just as we are right now, we become more grounded and connected to the earth itself. Breathe slowly and steadily in, and let the peace wash over you. The more often we can connect to the earth, we reunite with its energy of stillness. So in your mind right now, close your eyes and visualize that you're sitting on the sand of a beautiful beach, or maybe in the softest grass with no shoes or socks on, or visualize yourself lying upon the moss of a beautiful forest floor, staring up at the sky and the slow waving treetops. Breathe in mindfully. Take a deep breath in. Create all the details your mind will allow. Feel the sun on your face, the gentle breeze on your skin. Hear the birds or a stream flowing next to you. Connect to your heart and to the breath and the stillness of this beautiful scene in your mind. Feel the earth right there underneath you. This is the reason we call her Mother Earth. She is where we once all came from. And she is where one day we will all return. And that somehow seems to explain why something as simple as her touch or any reconnection to her presence can feel like a warm, loving, motherly hug that fills you up with everything you didn't even know that you needed. Breathe in and out, steadily and slowly, keeping your eyes closed and your focus on this visualization. And now take this moment in your beautiful space and think about the state you were in before you began this program earlier today. You set up and created a beautiful foundation for yourself this morning. First you set an intention to come to these classes, then you made a plan to create the space in your life. And now you've made a commitment to this plan, and you are here. Give yourself some credit for that. You manifested this entire moment's reality out of an idea, an impulse, Maybe a desire, but definitely a belief. A belief in you. This is your arrival. 
This is what a strong foundation is all about. Trusting that the work you put in will be worth it because we all know in our hearts it always is. And just as our hearts beat, so does the journey of each of our lives continue. But it's up to us to choose how we would like to move forward. Now, seated on your mat, take a deep inhale, mindfully feeling the air fill up your lungs, charging energy through your heart and your entire body. And whisper today's affirmation with me. I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. And now, let's prepare to begin. Mindfully, take your hands off of your heart and bring them back down to your lap. Let's begin today's class in our first child's pose. Bringing your feet down to the bottom of your mat, coming onto your knees, slowly fold back to sit on the backs of your heels. Opening up our chest, taking a deep breath in, mindfully bring yourself down to the mat by walking your hands forward, doing your best to keep seated on your heels, and coming forward with your toes towards the front of the mat. If this is as far as you can come today, that's perfectly fine. But if you can go a little deeper, stretch with those fingers, reaching forward, and bring your forehead as far down towards your mat as your body will allow. Coming back to your breath, mindfully listen to what your body is asking for. If it would like, you can bring your hands down towards the bottom of your mat next to your feet. This will remove the pressure from your upper body and bring the stretch more towards your midsection and lower back, allowing you to sink deeper onto your heels. You can try either one out and see which one your body responds to best today. And then come back to your breath, sinking deeper into the pose with each breath in and each breath out. If you'd like to add a little bit of motion, you can try rocking gently back and forth, bringing your weight onto one leg and then onto the bent other, deepening the stretch in your quads and in your hamstrings. Coming back to the breath, Raising the awareness of this moment here, peacefully at the start of this class. And on your next exhale, raise yourself up onto all fours, stacking your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. We're going to take a couple of cat cows here just to wake up the back and the spine. Breathing in, looking up. Exhale, pushing your back up to the sky above. And then, with a mindful inhale, arching your back and looking forward to the front of your mat, exhaling, pushing up again towards the sky, and with a mindful inhale, filling up the lungs and raising the head to look in front of you, and then continuing at your own pace. If you think your body would respond to it well, you can start some circular motions with your spine, rotating at the hips, curving at the side body, finding a beautiful motion connected to your breath as you inhale and out, drawing a circle with your body. Once you've gone around a few times in one direction, try the other. This is your practice, and at this moment, find the motion that speaks to you. Listen to how your body responds as you try different things, going a little deeper on one side, pushing further on the other. This is your practice, so listen to your body and give it exactly what it's asking for finding a beautiful dance between the rhythm of your breath and the motion of your body. On your next inhale, come back towards your heels again and let's extend our hands out in front of us, slowly sliding our body towards the front of our mat into puppy pose, trying to keep our knees stacked directly under our hips and lowering our chest down towards the mat with our forearms planted and fingers pointed forward. Come down as far as feels comfortable for you. Wherever you end up in this pose is exactly where you're supposed to be today. Feeling the stretch in your shoulders, in your upper back, and your lower back. Breathing in and out. Maybe experimenting with falling a little deeper or raising your gaze further forward from the mat Maybe planting your chin and just breathe.
And on your next exhale, flatten your legs onto the mat, bringing your pelvis down towards the earth and stack your shoulders perfectly in a right angle above your elbows, arching in the middle and the lower end of your back and raising your chin and opening up your chest to the front of the room. Breathing here into the stillness, this is your cobra. To deepen the stretch, try pulling your shoulders back just slightly or lifting your chin up just a little higher or try to over-exaggerate the arch in your back, pushing your belly down further into the mat. Or if deepening the stretch is not what your body is looking for, be more passive, finding your breath and sinking deeper into the stillness with each exhale. And on your next breath out, slowly lower your chest down to the mat and plant your hands at either side of your pecs, flat on the earth. And inhale, extend, lift, tuck your toes and find your upward facing dog. You can keep your legs flat down on the mat if that's what your body is asking for. Or make your contact points your two feet and your two hands and push into the earth raising yourself up higher as you inhale all the prana and feel it enter through your mouth and travel down your spine to the root chakra, charging you up, breathing and being. Now on your next exhale, push your body up, finding our first downward dog of the program together, planting both hands flat on the mat, straightening the arms, bringing your chest with each breath down towards the earth. It's okay to keep your knees slightly bent if that's what feels best to you, or straighten your legs and push just carefully and compassionately your heels down towards the earth. And on your next exhale, coming into plank, keeping your toes and hands as contact points on the mat dropping down into Chaturanga. Inhale, pushing up into Upward Facing Dog once again. And exhale, come back down to Downward Facing Dog. Beautiful. Looking towards the front of your mat. Take two or three steps towards the front, bringing your toes to the edge, staying bent at the hips, folded in forward fold, allowing the gravity Pull your upper body and torso down towards the earth. Remember, yoga isn't about touching your toes. It's what you learn when you reach towards them, about your body and your mind. Grabbing both elbows, if you'd like, you can add a little bit of a rock here. Breathing in one way, breathing out the other. Finding the natural rhythm, motion in your body. Filling your hamstrings and your hips activate and come alive just a little bit with every rocking motion. Beautiful. On your next exhale, reaching back down towards the earth, bring your right hand over on the other side of your left foot and reach that left arm up towards the sky, twisting your neck just slightly to bring your gaze up towards your fingertips. You can micro bend the right knee, but try your best, if you can, to keep that left leg straight and breathe into the stretch, bending at the hips, folding forward and twisting deeper with each breath. And on your next exhale, come back with your left hand and drop it to the right side of your right foot. Twist to the other side, raising your right arm up towards the sky and gently turning your neck to bring your gaze to your fingertips. On your next inhale, let's add a little bit of motion by lifting our planted hand, exhaling and dropping the other hand to the opposite side. Inhale, lift, exhale, plant. Inhale, lift, other side, exhale, plant. 
finding the natural rhythm of the movement and the breath connected together. Inhale, lift, exhale, plant. Inhale, lift, exhale, opposite hand, plant. Excellent. Find the rhythm that's right for you and fall into the motion. Breath and movement. Wonderful. On your next exhale, come back to neutral with both your hands at the center of your mat. Take a deep inhale, raise part way up, straightening your legs, and exhale, step back with your right foot, planting your toes and dropping your knees. Then lower your foot flat and slowly raise at the hips and find your way into low lunge. You can stay with both hands on top of your left knee, or if you'd like to deepen the stretch, you can just encourage a deeper stretch by pushing on your low back and glute down towards the mat, feeling the stretch in your psoas and side body deepen as you push a little further, or be more passive and keep both hands on top of each other, raising your chest up towards the front of the room, lifting your chin, letting gravity do all the work, and just breathe. On your next exhale, drop your fingers to either side of your left foot and do your best to straighten the knee. If you can't touch the mat with the knee straight, you can come up a little bit and put your hands on your hamstring or your hips. But if you can, sink, bending at the hips, folding forward, and bring your head and your torso down towards your shin, feeling it all the way down the back of your hamstring and into your calf. Breathing, sink deeper with each exhale. The half split is a wonderful way to wake up the entire leg. And on your next exhale, bend your left knee and bring your body forward, planting your hands. And step that right leg forward to meet both feet at the front of the mat. And then step back with the left leg, switching sides, dropping the left knee, extending the foot flat on the mat, and bringing your body up to neutral position. And place both hands on the right knee. Just like on the other side, you can deepen the stretch by bringing both hands onto your hips or glutes and compassionately add a little bit of pressure by pushing your pelvis down towards the mat or keep your hands on the knee and let gravity do all the work. Either way, this is your practice, so you use your awareness to listen to the messages of your body and follow what it's asking for. Breathing in and out, deepening the stretch with each breath. And on your next exhale, let's find our way into single-legged split by putting our hands down on the mat to support ourselves as we straighten our knee. You can bring your body up into neutral or stay folded at the hips. Fingers can touch or you can flatten your palms on the earth. Bend at the hips, at the waist, lowering your body down, feeling your hamstring come alive. However deep you go, whether or not you have your knees slightly bent or perfectly straight, whether your hands are touching the earth or you're sitting straight up vertically, this is your practice and you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Remember that and just breathe. And with a deep, Exhale, bend that right leg, bring yourself forward on the mat and step it back to meet your left foot. And let's find our way naturally and slowly back into child's pose, bringing our head down towards the earth and reconnecting just for this moment back to our breath, hands flat, or you can reach down below, underneath your hips, above your heels, and attach your fingers together. Just reconnect like we did at the beginning of this class to your breath and to the presence of this moment. Consider how you felt in your first child's pose to how you're feeling now. 
this as a check-in with yourself. And it's a beautiful technique to reconnect to where you were, where you are, and possibly where you're headed. Now on your next exhale, put your hands flat next to your body and mindfully lift yourself back up to seated, into hero pose, sitting on your heels. Find comfort in sitting here. And let's take a mindful deep inhale and reach up towards the sky, bringing our palms together right at the peak. And then mindfully exhale, bringing our hands down to heart slowly as all the oxygen leaves our lungs. And drop your hands back onto your heart just like we did at the start of this class. Let's come back to the conscious awareness of our heart beating. As simple or possibly menial as this might feel in concept these first few times, throughout this entire journey we're going to use our own heartbeat as the thread to constantly come back to and follow mindfully towards our own conscious awareness. Because our heartbeat is always right here, one conscious thought away. And it reminds us that we are here through each beat and every breath. Feel your heart under your palms. Think about all the work that it has done in every moment and every day for you. It's funny because we talk about broken hearts, we send heart emojis, we speak and think of them so often through songs and in movies and to our loved ones, but rarely do we ever take a moment to consider that we actually have one right here, under our palms, in our chest, keeping us alive in every single moment. So right now, Allow it to guide you back right here to yourself on the mat. It's your north star, always there to walk towards, to bring you back to where you need to be. And say thank you to it. Surrender to its force as it grounds you into this moment further. Feel it beating over and over in symphony. Let it guide you to come back to the earth underneath you. Allow yourself to go deeper. Just breathe. Now, whisper with me aloud with all the conviction of this moment. I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. Wonderful. Now, on your next exhale, let's come onto all fours and raise ourselves into downward dog once again, bringing our heels down towards the mat and with each breath bringing our torso down closer towards the earth, connecting to our breath, keeping all the peace and the stillness that we cultivated in that last reflective moment and just sinking into the asana into the stillness. Now, on your next exhale, let's flow it out by coming into plank, exhaling, dropping down into chaturanga, inhaling, upward facing dog, pushing the earth down beneath you, and then finding our way back down to downward facing dog once again. Wonderful. Taking a breath here just for a moment, looking forward to the front of our mat, take two or three steps towards the front bringing your feet together and coming down into a crouched position just for a second here. Maybe extend upwards and stretch the shoulders. Give a little bit of motion. Finding your balance, drop your hands behind you, lowering yourself down to the mat and bring your knees towards your chest, coming into the ball position. You can take the passive or the active stretch here. Either give yourself a hug by just attaching your hands and sitting to let gravity do all the work. Or, if you'd like, you can pull your knees towards your chest and lift your chin towards them, squeezing your knees, coming into a tiny little ball, wrapping your arms tighter around your legs. Either approach to this asana is perfect because it's your practice. And if you're listening to your body, whatever it is you decide is right for you. You can add a little bit of motion too if you'd like, massaging the spine, rocking back and forth just gently with your breath. But if the stillness serves you, just breathe and be 
perfect as you are. And on your next exhale, you can let go of your knees, extend your legs down towards the mat, and slowly and mindfully sit up just a little bit, bringing your body up off the mat and planting your hands behind you. Flatten your feet in front of you and lift yourself up into raised bridge position, trying to make a flat line across from your knees to your shoulders. You can stretch your chin back and look over upside down behind you if that feels good. But if you feel any discomfort in your neck, keep your head neutral. It's perfectly fine. And on your next exhale, lower yourself back down to the mat. And slowly, one vertebrae at a time, drop your upper body flat, bringing your head down and keeping your knees bent, feet flat on the mat. Raising your hips up off the mat, keeping your shoulders planted, you can grab both hands together. This is your lifted bridge position. Tense your glutes if you'd like to make it just a little bit stronger. See if you can find your breath and find the stillness in this active stretch. Every day we will have an interconnected pose that allows us a bridge between both practices of the day. Today's pose that's interconnected is this bridge. Take a second and remember how it felt in Juliana's class, compare it to how it feels now. It's a great exercise to explore the transition of the day and the different messages your body sends at different points in the exact same asana. Now you can let go of your hands and slowly bring your glutes down to the mat. Lift your feet up off the mat and reach towards them, grabbing the outsides of both feet and lift them up so that the soles of your feet are pointing towards the sky, finding our happy baby. And if you can't find comfort in grabbing your feet, you can hold by your ankles or your calves and pull your knees down towards your chest. Whichever version speaks to your body is perfect. To activate this stretch a little bit more, you can pull the knees down towards the earth or try to actively spread them away from your body and open your hips just gently and mindfully, breathing into the stretch. If you'd like to add a little bit of motion, you can rock back and forth. Listen to your body as you do. Connect the movement to the breath, breathing in and out, rocking back and forth massaging the spine, the sacrum, the lower back, finding the stillness with each breath, sinking deeper and deeper. Now whether you have by the hands or the calves or the ankles, bring your feet together. And try to extend the knees to straighten the legs perfectly. Feel the stretch through your hamstrings similar to the forward fold earlier. Breathing into this asana, holding and finding the stillness through your breath once again. And on your next exhale, letting go of your feet, mindfully engage the core and as slowly as you can, begin to drop the legs down towards the mat, inch by inch, closer and closer until they find their resting point back down on the earth. We're gonna close off this practice with one last technique. Raising our hands, clenching our fists, lifting our arms off the mat, and then lifting our legs. I want you to clench every single muscle in your body as hard as you can and hold all the way from your toes through your legs and your arms and your shoulders into your face. Just push and clench, use all your strength holding right there in this moment of pure energy, racing from head to toe. A couple more seconds and release. Finding your way perfectly into Shavasana as we begin what is often regarded by yogis as the most important pose of the entire class. Breathing, still, letting go of everything. This is where all the work we've done for the last 30 minutes acts as the catalyst, which allows our body access to find an even deeper stillness. 
and mindful relaxation. So give yourself permission right now to do just that. Take a deep and slow mindful breath inward. And now as you exhale, imagine any remaining tension that you're still hanging on to anywhere in your body. Release and leave once and for all. Whether it be in your arms or your fingers or your lips or your face, investigate, recognize it's there, and then give it permission on your next exhale to let go of its needless process of holding on and just surrender to the stillness. And now take a moment, if you would like, to come back to that place you selected at the beginning of this class, the forest floor or the stream, the grass under your feet, whatever place that you were pulled to, return there again in your mind. Once you find that place again, take a slow and mindful breath, feel the nature around you. And as you breathe in, imagine the sounds and the smells that create this beautiful world. This is Earth. She is the mother to all of us. Let her embrace and nurture you in this balanced, relaxed state. When your mind wanders as it will, do not judge it. Just take a note and forgive it, and then, on your next breath, come back to your path. Because stepping off our path is a part of this journey. But it's finding the compassion to gracefully step back in the right direction. That's the real test. So just breathe in and out. And know in your heart that this moment here right now is exactly where you're supposed to be. Mindfully coming back to your body, moving your fingers and your toes just gently, beginning to stir and wake up. Add a little bit of motion in your neck. Allow your consciousness to return. Waking up, stretching out up over your head if that feels good. Opening your eyes and rolling mindfully over into fetal position on your side just for a moment to take a deep, conscious, connective breath, and compassionately lift yourself back up to meet me when you're ready, and seated in the middle of your mat, either cross-legged or in a hero on your knees. What a wonderful shavasana and a perfect class this has been. Extend your arms just to the sides of your body, Touching the mat in a relaxed position if you can. And feel the energy that we've cultivated here today flowing freely through your entire body. Feel your root chakra shining. And let's take one big exhale. Raise our hands up above our head, bringing our palms together to hold there just for a minute. Then mindfully exhale. 
So we lower our hands down to our heart, just like at the beginning of this class when your lungs are empty. Hold in your breath retention, exhaled, completely empty. Place your hands on your heart, keeping your eyes closed. When your body gives the cue, you can return to your regular breathing, but until then, just come back to your heart's rhythm. This is the rhythm of your entire life. Feel it beating right there, each pulse. Recognize it and simply just breathe, filling your body up with gratitude for this entire life that your heart has allowed you to experience. Feel the earth underneath you, your root chakra at the base of your spine swelling from all the light work you've provided it today. And check in to see if you understand more than ever with conviction and clarity that this is exactly where you're supposed to be. Because you know in your heart that this is deserved. You've earned it and that your entire journey magically delivered you right here to this moment through all of time and space through cosmic miracles of chaos carving out your destiny delivered to this moment to simply just be and as you move forward from this class today i want you to consider implementing today's tactic for the rest of the week it's entitled ritual of creation it is simply a morning daily task. It can take less than 10 minutes, but it brings incredible clarity and benefit to the outcome of every single day. To learn more about this tactic, Ritual of Creation, you can read about it in the program guidebook. And with that, I want to formally welcome you to Ascension. This journey truly will be your time to rise. So take a moment to thank yourself for showing up and seizing this opportunity. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this practice. Now before you go, we would like to tell you about Boho Beautiful Ascension. Now I'm gonna let Mark tell you all about it. So Ascension, to us, is based on one single principle. It's the understanding that each and every one of us, no matter what the circumstance, is capable to rise to our next level. So through this program, we aim to provide you the tools as you step on the mat with us to help you ascend. Boho Beautiful Ascension is not just a yoga program, but it's actually a practical seven day journey based on simple actionable principles that will help you not only balance and align your energetic chakra system, but they will also help you find your way back towards a life full of love, direction, and purpose. This life is and always will be about personal growth and expansion then this is your time to rise above and ascend. It would be a true honor to have you join us for this program. So if you are interested and you want to learn more, go ahead and click this link down here and see if this is something that truly speaks to your heart.